<laughs> we, we do have to get through 80s. <laughs> Got to share. Yeah, I, I, I hear Neil's going to the farm. Going to the farm to work, and it's uh -huh. the hottest yeah. day in two weeks. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Mother Nature knew. Yes. Tell them what I want. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, here's what you want, Neil. We were back at 80 degrees in Tyler today. That's too beyond the normal. 51 was the low this morning, so not quite as cool this morning. And the record high, 1947, was 92 degrees. That was not meant to be today. It's 1976. We were all the way down to 34, just a couple degrees above freezing that day. Upper 70s, lower 80s. Those were your high temperatures today. Luck and Crockett both clocking in at 81. The Plaza Tower, of course, brought to you by Tyler Neurosurgical Associates. We still have mostly clear skies out there. We've got a front on the way. Now, when this front begins to slide in our direction, we could have a little bit of fog in deep east Texas tomorrow morning. But when those winds shift, they'll shift from the south to the northwest by late tomorrow morning. That drier air is going to move in from west Texas, so conditions are actually going to be pretty nice tomorrow afternoon, despite the temperatures being a lot warmer than where we were today. Now, for the Lone Star State, there's not a huge difference in our temps. We're in the 60s here in East Texas. The Panhandle, we're in the 50s. We'll get a closer look at some of our numbers right now. A few of us have dropped into the 50s, including Marshall, Mineola, and center and Athens also at 59 and Sulphur Springs at 59 there. Palestine is at 66. It's 68 in Crockett. Dew points in the 50s and 60s, so slightly higher humidity, but that's all going to come tumbling down once this front moves through the area during the day tomorrow. Front is right on our doorstep at 6 o'clock. Temperatures in the upper 50s and lower 60s will be in the upper 70s and lower 80s by noontime. Still a few clouds in deep east Texas, but the front moves through. The skies open up and we'll see plenty of sunshine tomorrow afternoon with highs once again in the 80s. So in summary of that, we're down to 59. That cloud cover will slowly increase early tomorrow morning, but then we'll become sunny in the afternoon. Highs a few degrees warmer than what we saw today. We will be in the lower 80s. OK, here's the 30 day rainfall deficit. We're still at a deficit of rain along the Trinity River that goes for extreme western Anderson and Houston counties and also Sabine County. And that's where we happen to have our burn ban in effect. But all the other burn bans in East Texas right now, those bans have been lifted for the time being. But we need to see the rain. It doesn't look like we're going to see a lot of it through at least next Monday. However, as we head into next Tuesday and Wednesday, that's going to be our next best chance of rain. And it does look like we could have some pretty good rainfall starting next Wednesday. So stay tuned for more information on that. Deep East Texas, same deal near 90 Saturday. Right now I've got our high temperature clocked in at about 88, but rain chances do return next Wednesday. Neil, Casey, Carson. Thank